So hello and uh, welcome to another one. And I'm not alone. And I'm not driving. I brought myself a taxi driver with me. Mrs. C is out and we're on, we're not going to say we're on holiday, but we're going out for the weekend. Uh, we're having a weekend away. Why not? It's uh, that time where people are getting back out in the open air, people are getting out and seeing things. And we're heading to the Lake District. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Um, not sure whether she is yet, but we'll see. Early mornings and late nights and all that. We're heading up to a place called Castle Rig, Stone Circle. Something simple, um, because Denise hasn't been out doing a lot of walking, and I've not done a great deal, but I've done quite, you know, I've done a lot more than she has. I thought I'd do some nice, simple, easy locations where we haven't got to walk far, we haven't got to do a lot, apart from park up and uh, wander across a field or something like that. So yeah, we'll see you when we get there. Um, it might not be this evening, but it might be tomorrow morning. And uh, yeah, until then, follow the road. morning told you i'd be up nice and early didn't i told you i was getting up for sunrise i've already got up mrs c is still in bed not surprising because she doesn't like these early mornings she really doesn't do early mornings very well i've got up because i woke up had a look outside the van and it's already bright it's already clear it's it's already light so i thought what the hell am i doing i must have underestimated slightly how quick the light comes up in the morning and excuse me i'm trying to take my first photograph as we as we talk just because there's a there's a little bit of light over there in the in the distance you got this nice little bit of light just going on just over the back there and i love these clouds look at the cloud formation drifting over this way it's really really nice so I thought I'd just quickly get a shot. Oh, just messing with my gloves. Just uh, quickly get a shot while there's that little bit of glow. And I've gone for a, a vertical with these stones here. Um, you can't see the stones too well at the moment with the camera the way it is. But um, yeah, no, it's, it was just my first little shot just to get myself going. So yeah, I'm at uh, Castle Rig Stone Circle. Um, we got here last night. And it just so happens that I parked the van up and I heard, heard my name shouted, Paul, Paul, is that you? I said, yeah, it is. And uh, it's uh, Northern Wild, I think Northern Wild Photography. Um, his van's the van I parked next to. And I recognised the, the sticker in the window. So good morning to you, sir. And uh, hope you get your breakfast this morning that you promised yourself. Um, but yeah, no, it was really cool. Uh, he's the actual guy that I met up in Northumberland. Um, when I bought my drone, I bought my um, Hasselblad uh, Mavic Pro off of him a year, two years ago, three years ago maybe, um, which I've you know sold since then. But uh, yeah, no, that was really cool. So yeah, I'm at the circle. Denise is in bed, and you can see the tractor over there. He's just about to go past the van now. So we're really, 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 really close. This is a very, very close location. It's going to be a very popular location as well once the sun gets up and uh, daylight appears. Not a bad little morning so far, just to literally wake up, open my eyes, get out, point the camera that way and have a little bit of a glow in the sky. Sun's not due up for another half an hour, so let's see what happens when the colour happens. So I'm going to put a picture on that I took last night. Now I have no idea whether it works, uh, so I could be sort of, this could be egg on my face to be honest, but I got out the van last night just before just to have a look at the sky see what it was doing and the moon was just up here above the stone circle and it was quite a way up it wasn't low above it was high above but it had a moon bow or a moon circle or whatever you want to call it it was a circle around the moon it looked wildly spectacular through the eyes with a stone circle it was shockingly amazing but taking a photograph of it was seriously hard work now denise has got one 
I'll pop that up if it works for you as well to have a look at that. She had the wide angle on, I had a 16 mil on and I tried to do a vertical stack. So I've taken four vertical images, but the problem is as you tilt the camera up, you get, um, you, you start to make this it elliptical. It, it doesn't look round, it starts to stretch. Uh, and I am actually just watching the sky because something's going on over there and it might even have some extra color. Um, but yeah, I've tried to do a vertical, uh, you know, a, a vertical stack or a horizontal stack rather. Sorry, I'm talking rubbish now. And I try to do a horizontal stack where I stack four images on top of each other. So if it works, this is the last image for this little video. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna carry on shooting, like I say, but what a fantastic night it was. It was amazing. Oh my goodness it's all kicking off i didn't think i was going to get that quite that orange sky but i've just literally i've just legged it from one side of the stone circle to this side um just because the light came up the other side and i'm just in the process of doing a panoramic shot because i can't get it all in and get that color in but we have got orange sky and stone circle absolutely fantastic and it's really difficult because i've got the camera up high but I'm almost on tippy toe and that color's already burning off. Come on, come on, come on, get the shot, get the shot, should get the shot before it disappears altogether. It's already burning off so quickly. It came up, lit up, and now it's going off. And I just want to get a panoramic. I want to get all the stones in if I can with that orange sky behind it. F11. I'm on manual. I've just flicked the uh oh, it says memory card full. That is impossible. I can't reach. It's not going to take another one. Ah, back in a bit. Oh my god, I've been joined. I've been joined. They've missed the fun though, haven't they? They have. <laughs> <laughs> Unlucky. This is, there he is, look. North, North, Northern Wild. Northern Wild. Yeah, like I said, I bought my drone from him. How random is that? You can meet anybody anywhere. Um, yeah, so the colour, five minutes and it's already disappearing. Um, so I literally run from that side over to the far side, did my panoramic and yes, I know my bloody memory card filled up, didn't it? Excuse my French, but I quickly deleted a couple of images I've had on there for a while and I think I got the end of the pano. Um, I won't know till I get home now. That's that's definitely gonna be one of those sit and wait ones. If not, I'm gonna have to crop a piece out, aren't I, and, and use that. But yeah, colour's going. I'm just watching the last remnants of the colour fading away. Now it did actually say on the clear outside or clear skies app that it was gonna be 100% cloud. Um, but there isn't. And in fact, the cloud's looking really nice. It's got this nice wispy 
wispy streaks through the sky. Look at that, look at the sky there. These wispy streaks that come through the sky. So that'll make quite a nice, quite a nice shot. Um, but yeah, I'm done. That's it. Morning's up. I've had uh, five, ten minutes shooting and video complete. I, I, there's not much I can say. All I would say is I've been using, trying to use some sort of a lead to lead you in now. Yes, the hillside was blocked. It's a shame because the trees were there, the hillside was blocked. So if we got the light over that side, it would have been a lot better because you've got all the mountains that side. Um, but the trees actually blocked the, the, the view, if you like, beyond the stones. But they did separate them, um, so I don't mind that. So yeah, I think I think we're going to call this a call this a, a, a small video, a short video, and uh, <laughs> call it there. Welcome to Castle Rigstone Circle. Um, hopefully, enjoy the panoramic. I'm going to go and wake the missus up and see why she didn't get up to come and have a look at this sunrise. Um, I will try and do a couple of other shots while I'm here. I'm not going to just give up yet. Like I say, the sky looking amazing. So I'm going to see if I can get like a, a close up kind of panoramic shot um zoom in on the stones and just get the stones and a bit of wispy sky um but yeah that's it really really quick really really simple and it's all over in five minutes it's just one of those things but this is a very very close location if you need it what i'm going to do if i haven't already done it if i have i'll put a link up for you um if i haven't done it yet and uh look out for my five locations car park locations for low mobility or easy access non-walkable uh, while i'm up in the lake district i'm going to do i'm going to i'm just going to take you and show you five five different locations that you can get to in your car and probably well wheelchair access um very very short distance from the car 100 meters or so you know very very simple so yeah we'll do that five five locations so look out for that one right all i'm going to say is thanks for watching random quick short we are up in the lakes we're going to do sunset tonight and uh, yeah, I'll get Mr. C on camera as well. Till next time, ciao for now. See you soon.